This week in our, we are going to create an ocean. So after looking at Katasakwa's famous wave painting, we're going to create our own. And we're going to use paper and color pencil sticks, but you can use any art material you would like to use. So the first thing we are going to do is decide which way you want to hold your paper. Are you going to hold your paper vertically? So the longer sides are our left or right or horizontally where the longer sides are the top and bottom. And I'm going to hold my paper horizontally, simply create a horizon line and a horizon line is where the sky meets the land. And in this case, it's where the sky meets the water. And since it's the water and the ocean, I'm going to simply make a kind of a wavy curve line because it is the ocean rather than a straight line. So to make a wave, I'm going to start on the side. I'm going to kind of go up like as I go up the hill and then I'm going to kind of come back down as like a C shape and then kind of continue my wave and slowly bring it down. So I'm just going to start on the edge of my paper. I'm going to go up, like go up a hill, come back down as like a C shape. I'm going to add a few little kind of like spikes to my wave here. And I'm just going to kind of continue on a smaller wave. And then I'll just keep going off my paper. I can also add some other waves in the background behind this wave. You can add some waves coming this way. And then down below, I am going to add some little waves. And a wave is kind of like up a hill and make a C shape. So I'm going to start coloring in my sky and I'm going to add like a sunrise, sunset, warm sky. I'm going to use my warm colors. I'm going to start with my yellows. I have a yellow, orange, an orange, a red. I'm actually going to use like a magenta pink and a little bit of purple on my sides. So for my ocean waves, I'm going to do cool colors such as blues, purples, and a little bit of like minty greens. I'm also going to leave some of them white on the tips for that crest of my wave. And feel free to add other things in your drawing. Maybe there's a boat, maybe there's a dolphin kind of popping out of the water, maybe there's a tail, maybe there's a shark fin in there. It's up to you on what you add to your drawing. Make it your own. You're the artist. So I'm going to simply start with my sky. You may follow along with me or you can take it your own artistic way. 